So how do you fetch the time spent on a specific issue using a script runner? Well, I'll show you how to do it using a script, but I basically also want to talk about this uh, question asked by Om Prakash on the community about Groovy how to remove last character from time spent. And he's asking about uh, what is the function I can use to strip last character from string flash value. I am getting the value from time spent field. Users will enter time in H or week or days. So I would like to get only number from it. Well, Om Prakash, you don't have to. If I, sh if I maybe show you the script for basically fetching the time spent. So if you have the issue object, which I am using in this particular script, uh, which is of course hard coded with scrum 14 and uh, the method is uh, get time spent. Now, if you take a look at the issue itself, we have uh, two hours logged on this issue. Maybe we can add, we, maybe we can add one more uh, entry in the, we can, we can basically log more time if we want. Now, if you go to the script con console and if you run the script, you will get something like this, 7200. So basically, <laughs> when you fetch the time spent or the work log, you will get a number, you will get a long field that you can always convert. And maybe you want to manage it separately. You want to maybe send it to a different tool. And uh, when you're using a script, when you're using that method get time spent on the issue object, it will give you number, not really a string with the, the unit or hours, weeks, days in return. So this is all I wanted to share in this video very quickly. I was thinking about it. I never really talked about uh, using script under for Jira on server. I don't think I ever talked about uh, fetching the time tracking field values. Now, apart from time spent, one thing that I think I can show you very quickly is uh, there is there is also one more method um, on the issue object that you can try. That is uh, issue dot get original estimate. Now. This can be, let us, let us see, let us print this or I'll, I'll basically use the log dot debug. And uh, right now on this particular issue, I don't really have any original estimate, but let us see what we get in uh, return. And uh, we can always, so there is nothing here, but if I go back to the issue and if I edit the issue, Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can uh, add some time tracking values here. Uh, so let us take a look at, do I even have this particular uh, field on the screen? Let me try to find, let me, let me create a new issue. Hopefully I can find that particular field, original. Um, not really. Let us try task. Otherwise, I will add the field. No. So let me do one thing. Let me quickly add this particular original estimate field. And we add some value to that particular field and then we'll fetch it using the script. We have the script, nothing, no, not really a script, but just a method. But doing that is not very simple, not very complicated. It is simple. So let us go to the screens. And uh, for story epic and uh, subtask, I just have one screen. I'll just go to the I'll go to the uh, screen and I will uh, add the fields. So let us try again. I'll go back to my story and I'll try to add the original estimate. So if I can click on the edit button again and find the field, hopefully the field is now there on the screen. 
so now we have the original estimate and uh, i can add something like 2d not two dimension but two days and update so we have original estimate and we also have some logged time so if i now run the script the second entry here is basically the original estimate so this is something that i wanted to talk about today as i was talking about uh, well, i mean i never really talked about uh, fetching time tracking fields using a script now although it is uh, not really difficult and uh, you can easily easily do that so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much